right, so here is Scotland's finest, Paul Bearjew Craig. He will not tell you the genesis of the Bearjew nickname. He's going to take that secret to the grave. One thing that is a little bit of a secret right now is just how elite this guy can be at middleweight. Jury is still out, one and one. He's dropping down to 185 pounds. Looked fantastic against Andre Muniz. Was humbled in the main event against Brendan Allen. But this man has recommitted himself to strength and conditioning. A lot of people wondered aloud if he could even make the 185 pounds. Made it with relative ease times two. And now we see tonight with this particular matchup just how good Paul Bearjew Craig can be. Martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Let's see how he chooses to approach this stylistic matchup. Craig is sort of an underrated striker, but you know what his bread and butter is. That is his ground game. As good a submission artist in terms of finishing fights as we have in this UFC light heavyweight division. All right, takedown defense holds up for him here early. He can expect plenty more where that came from, though, champ. That was only one that he needed to defend. He will have to defend many more over the course of this fight. But now that he knows that he can defend these takedowns, maybe he's more willing to take some chances. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Nice straight right lands. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh man, both of these guys didn't really take a shot. There's a takedown attempt. Good job blocking that shot. Back out, back out. They need to get some space now. Crane gets hit by that leg kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. 
scuffs the takedown, no problem. Lee's in half guard now. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? There it is, now he's going to mount. He's setting up a sub attempt. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Craig. Big ground and pound. You gotta be careful here. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you gotta shrimp, you gotta get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Mm, that was nice. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Oh, he's got to choke here. Position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Grappler's delight tonight. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. He passed the half guard. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? Now he's going full mount. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Beautiful spinning attack there. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. 30 seconds to go in the round. Craig gets tagged. Oh! Oh, he's wobbling now. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Fifteen seconds to go. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lou. Nice block. Right. Five minutes in the books. Stop. All right, listen to me. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to control the fight on the ground. I think you can get that submission from side control position, okay? All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had, his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round underway. Connects with a beautiful jab. Straight right is there. Very active. Beautiful punch. Starting to do some really significant. Uh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice leg kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. 
All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show itself. Devastating uppercut. All right, so how about this? The BJJ fighter just continues to land at will on the feet, not necessarily the way you drew it up today. Chuck. No, I, you know, watching this two fight in preparation, you don't expect to see this playing out in front of you. The jiu-jitsu fighter normally is chasing takedowns, but he must have seen something in his opponent that is... You got him attacking that guillotine. Oh, my goodness, I think he might have it. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Getting the ball here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Takes his back now. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Craig's back in full mount. Oh, big shots from the top. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. This is where he wants to be. Well, that combination's gonna leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Craig. Using a lot of good movement. Under a minute now to go round two. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass him all the way this guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to lock himself to get some. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Craig's now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news, Craig's bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. All right, we will now re-rack some of the highlights for you from that previous round. We'll try to find the shot that caused the cut above his eye that is now leaking significantly down and compromising his vision. Yep, there it is. The one that landed that really opened him up. That cut is in a bad spot, Yeah. Too. Right over the eye, so that blood starts to leak down. It starts to really impair the vision. It's gonna be on his opponent to try and circle away from the power while not going in to circle away from the power 
to allow for himself to have a chance to still win this fight. Yeah, still plenty of time with which to rally, but we will keep it. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, massive knee to the head. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Play gets punished by the uppercut there. That one's going to leave a mark. Pretty good head kick there. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, you can hit with a shot like that. You don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Working out of that southpaw stance. And they separate. Oh. In a world of trouble now. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Moving to his left now. Ooh. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice jab, nice kick. Well, no problem getting inside to land straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, uh, that crimson red is nothing more than something that a uh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. A nice jab to the dome by Lee. Head kick lands. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Throws another jab. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Takedown defenses, though. Oh, the best head kicks you ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. And now he's in the guillotine. Oh, nice. That guillotine is tight. That guillotine looks very painful, and he's very close to the finish. But he cannot rush. He cannot allow his opponent to get to his back. And now he's got the back. Craig's back in full mount. Waning seconds here of round number three. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds.
All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now Ready. he's just targeting Ready. that cut on the nose. We have arrived at the fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Lee's knee strike is blocked. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Slips the punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio serve, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. There's that left hand. Uppercut. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Nice, nicely done. Craig's definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that is already compromised on his opponent. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. His nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Just out of range with that strike. Nice side there by the champ. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. we got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Not much behind the takedown offering there. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. 
He's right for the picket. Going pick the loose. <laughs> well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Final seconds of round four. Craig's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not... Oh, stop, stop, stop. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. That's pretty bad, and it's only going to get worse. You have to be smart with your experience. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. All right, next round. Is Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he wants to try to chase down that fifth. Cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Another one! Feels like the beginning of the end. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at 43 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts.